So to create a note, sometimes you may have the advanced understanding that you're going to need a particular node. You don't need to wait to look at your data. You know the nature of the questions that were asked. And in the little survey, backpack survey that we're using today, it's like that. The first question says, how often do you read the books in your family, in your child's family backpack? Once, twice, more than three times. So we can pretty much guess are some responses that we're going to need there. So I'm going to create a new node by going up to the create menu, uh, menu ribbon, into the nodes subgroup, and I'm going to click on node and I'm going to re create a parent node called times red and I'm going to say in the description survey question one times the family read the books nice to have a little description there for my node I'm going to tell say done and if I look in the nodes list in list view here we have oh my look what's happened i have times red but it's gone it's it's been created as a parent node as a child node of write about books that's not what i want so in order to change it in the hierarchy i'm going to click on times red and i want it to be at the top level of the hierarchy so i'm going to drag and drop it over onto nodes and you see it has appeared now at the at the top level of the hierarchy now I know that I'm going to need a one time, two time, three times, and those should be child nodes of times red. So I'm going to click times red, and I can come back up again where it says nodes, create a new node. I'm going to say one time, give it a description. This, the description is what you'll see in your code book for the operational definition of the, the node or the code. So you should always type a description in, and you can change this later as you refine the node. So read book one time click done and notice it it comes onto list view as a child note of times read because that it was times read that i had um, highlighted when i started i know i need other ones there are other ways to create new notes besides going up the menu ribbon and one of those is to right click the parent node notice it says new node in the action menu and I get the same node properties box. I'm going to say two times, add in a description, remind myself of that survey question one, click done, and so forth. I could continue adding. Um, the great thing about InVivo is that it allows you to easily change the hierarchical structure of your nodes by dragging and dropping. So for example, if, for, if I decided that um, two times should be at the same level as times red, all I would do is highlight it and drag it over to the, to the nodes folder. And now we see two times has become a parent node just like times red. If I want to put it back, I just drag and drop it back to times red and it becomes a child node again. So you can flexibly change this anytime you want.